Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Exponents, Question 4, Multiplication of Exponents and Radical to Exponent Form. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your complete Cram session. Review Question 4, Radical to Exponent Form. When simplified, the expression, the cubed root of m to the 4, times m to the negative one half, where m is greater than zero is going to be equivalent to one. The cubed root of m raised to the negative two, two. The fifth root of m raised to the negative four, three. The fourth root of m raised to the negative, I mean raised to the three, not negative three. Or four, the sixth root of m raised to the five, raised to five. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so in order to multiply these two monomial expressions, we're going to opt to convert this uh, radical expression into exponent form, like its counterpart here. And the rule for that is that any um, base raised to an exponential fraction a over b is equivalent to the um, root of that particular base. It's now a radicand, the root of the base being the denominator in the fractional exponent. Um, so the b root of the base, where the base is being raised to the a power, or the a exponent within the radicand power is actually a misnomer because a power is the result of an exponential expression kind of like what we have here this would be considered a power but it's also this re expressed in radical form and this is the exponent um equivalent to this radical form okay so we can see here that b becomes the index of the root and the numerator of the exponent is going to be the exponent of the radicand, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is apply this concept to our first term in our expression. Oh yeah, but before we do that, um, another way of expressing this is to extract the exponent from the radicand. These are two equivalent expressions. And the reason why this sometimes tends to work out better than this is because if uh, x is a relatively large number, let's say greater than four, the numbers can get pretty big if you have an exponent like three greater than three, okay? So by rate by finding first the root and then raising it to the exponent a, the numbers tend to stay smaller on a relative scale, okay? All right, so here goes our expression, and we applied uh, this rule to our radical form. So you see now we have the base m raised to the four over three, four being um, the exponent of the radicand, and three being the index of the root. So all you basically have to do is memorize this formula times m raised to the negative one over two. Okay, and we don't, some people would opt to take the reciprocal of the second term because you have a negative in the exponent, but we, we don't need to do that just yet. What we can do is apply a law of exponents, which say, says that when you have the same base, when you're multiplying the same base of um, two exponential terms, what you can do is just add the exponents. So that's what we're going to do. And in order to add these ex exponents, because we have um, rational exponents or e exponents expressed in the form of fractions with integers in the numerator and the denominator, we're going to have to find the least common denominator. And the least common denominator between two and three is obviously going to be six. We're not going to illustrate um, arriving at the denominator, basically you would multiply by two in the denominator here, and whatever you do to the denominator, you have to also do to the numerator. So you also multiply by two in the numerator and you would get eight over six. 
And on, on this exponent, you're going to multiply by 3 in the denominator. And whatever you do to the denominator, you also have to do to the numerator to maintain the same value. So you would end up with negative 3 over 6, okay? And so if we add the exponents 8 over 6 plus negative 3 over 6 and combine the two, we get m raised to the 5 over 6, okay? So this is our final answer. But if you look at the answer choices available, they're all expressed to radical form. So we have to convert um, back to exponent form. No, 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 we're in exponent form right now, so we're going to have to convert back into radical form simply because our answer choices are as such. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we have our base here, and then we have our numerator, which becomes the um, exponent of the radicand, and then we have our denominator, which is the index, so we can just go ahead and write out that formatting. And here we go. This is our final answer, the sixth root of m raised to 5, which is answer choice 4. Thanks for tuning in, and good luck studying.